What is good? It is Chin Tweezy back with another video. This time, as you can imagine, if you're used to my channel, it's another pair of Air Max. I hadn't intended to get this pair, but I'm so happy I picked them up. The quality on this pair is nuts. So this has definitely turned out to be the best pair of recross that I've got so far. I'm on my 748 pair, I think. So let's look at this in a bit more detail to show you why you definitely need to pick this pair up and shouldn't sleep. This is a Baroque brown pair from the Muted Gel Pack. And I was actually interested immediately in the, there's a pair that is gray and pink and kind of sail colored as well. That's a pair that usually would be my normal go-to kind of colorway, but this pair sold out in Europe and just on my radar, long story short. Ended up, good friend of mine, gave me a discount code. So I picked up this pair and honestly, it is the best pair of Air Max 90s that I bought this year. My favorite pair of Air Max 90s I bought this year. So I just wanted to show you some of the details so that you don't sleep on this pair in the same way that I was. There are still pairs out there and I would definitely, even though they're reviews on YouTube, I thought it was worth doing because I would recommend this pair. The pack is called the Muted Gel Pack and you can see here the colorway. It's white, baroque, brown and sail. I go up half a size, so I go, I have a UK 11 and all other Nikes, I'm a 10.5. But for this, for the Recraft for MX 90s, I go up to a UK 11 and that fits me just right. I find them snugger than other Air Maxes and Jordans, etc. It comes in a normal box and not anything to do with the OG box. It's not an OG colorway. And it's just a really classic pair. So I'll go through some of the features. We've got Baroque Brown on this portion around the air bubble. Inside the air bubble itself is sail. Underneath you've got that Baroque colorway. This I'd say is white. You've got that usual, that wavy, which is such a great feature of the Air Max 90, one distinctive. You've got really good suede here on the mud guard. Lowered as we know because of the recraft. You've got sail on the toe box. You've got a Baroque brown swoosh here, which is also 3M. I'll light that up in a second so you can see. And then mainly the colorway, the other colorway is just, you've got Baroque brown there on the tongue, and then you've got the sail color, sail laces. Only thing I would like with this pair with maybe some aglets or brown tip, just something a bit more interesting. Yeah, they cost 124 pounds, I think they were. I got 20% off, so I got them for 99 pounds, which is about a decent price I think for these even less would be ideal obviously so it would be nice to have another pair of laces because you buy a pair of Jordans you get often get a couple of pairs of laces so it'd be nice to have them to do something a bit more interesting with the laces but I love the way you've got this this set kind of greyish colour here on the suede I just think this colourway is so simple and so understated it's really effective and one of the things I've got kind of more into buying trainers and as I get older is actually when realizing the difference between tra colorways that I actually like, that I'm drawn to, and colorways that I'm likely to wear and that will go with clothes that I've got. And there's a difference. I, I've historically just always bought, I've bought loud pairs, all kinds of camos, all that kind of stuff, but I don't always want to draw attention to my trainers when I walk into a room. Sometimes I just want something simple and classic, and that's exactly what I would say these are. The main feature that I think draws this apart, this is one of the reasons I think it's the best colorway, is the quality of the leather. I'm all about the materials, I think if you spend your money you should get decent materials and here the leather is the best leather on a pair of recrafts that I've seen. I was raving about the quality, I had to get a second pair of these, I did a review on these, the women's eggplants, the last pair I had had glue stains but I got my second pair and this is a, this is a banging pair, without a doubt, this is a classic amazing pair but this is synthetic and the leather here is okay. Whereas I think the leather on the Baroque, if you can see it, just a little better tumble, a, bit, a little bit better with, with the tumble, a bit better with the creasing, which for me is a sign of a higher quality leather. So I think the material is one of the reasons why this shoe works. So I'm completely happy with this pair. I think that I'd even look at the other pack of pair in the gel muted pack, but I think this is probably enough. But I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of these, maybe even double up, I don't know. But as you know, I've been loving the recrafts this year. I think the 30th anniversary, Nike are doing a great job. All I'm really waiting for is the Concours and for the lasers to go on sale, and that'll probably be it. But I don't know, the way they're dropping colorways, I think they're doing a good job. So if you get a chance to pick these up, definitely recommend you do it. Um, you won't be disappointed, the quality is great and these are going to be a future classic, I think. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, please give us a thumbs up, please like this video, I'm going to try and aim for 
40 likes. If we get 40 likes, I'll be I'll be really happy, really amazed. If, if you watch this video and you like the content, please give it a like, um, subscribe, even better, and I will see you on the next video. Uh, peace and love. See you.